and his blessings at this time, and he brings the tribute to the Williams and the spiritual two seats. Amen. Food good, ain't it? We thank God for Lamar standing for catering. Come on, let's give him a big hand.
got me up to. I need to get down now so I can run. I know what to talk to. Oh, yeah. Talking about my way maker. Yeah. Who that? Hey. Who y'all? I'm telling you, the artists that we got singing tonight, they are some die hard Lee Williams fans. And when they off, you best believe they're trying to find where the QCs are camping out at on the weekend. All right. Amen. Because they love the spiritual QCs just that much. Amen. Oh, yeah. They do a good job, ain't they? Yeah. Amen. Well, at this time, um, the next artist that we got coming up is from Shannon, Mississippi. We call him Lee Jr. Praise the Lord. I heard. he can sing every song like a Lee can sing. Because yeah. he crazy about him for Lee Williams yeah. Yeah. and the spiritual QCs. So I want you to put your hands together. As we go to Shannon, Mississippi, by way of Pine Grove, also by way of Poplar Shannon, also by way of Johnson Chapel Shannon, Hopewell, Bellum. He sang with everybody in Bell Court that let him sing, because he's just that type of person. And then put your hands together for just the rain pouring in. Let's together once again for Mr. Calvin Wayne. Thank you. Let's say thank you. Thank you. Have God be good to you. Have God be good to you. If you know you've been good to you, let me see you wake up. I just sit here thank you. God that I know, he's the type of God that he takes invitations. How many of you willing to give an invitation and invite him to your life tonight? He's going to go through it now. And he's here now. And I was a little boy. I didn't know no better. Then I was no right and wrong. But my grandmother and my aunt used to bring me to this field and right here and watch Lee Williams and George Dean and put on a show for the Lord. Go ahead and give my name and I'm praying. Y'all go ahead give it to me. You may not have this chance anymore. But through the years, we all have our ups and downs. But whenever you invite the Lord in and give him that invitation, you tell the Lord, say, Lord, I want you to have your way. Have your way.
ahead, boy. This man, God the man, said, I can't find nobody worthy to redeem man. And then Jesus said, Daddy, I'll go down. Watch out. I'll redeem man. Can you imagine somebody sending his only child to die for all of us? Y'all know why he did? I'm not here by myself. Y'all know why he did? Well, can I tell you? Can I tell you why he did? He found out that love, love, Thank you, 
because I hadn't paid anything on my ear. But I said to myself, I know that's all right, but I know what the Lord can do. Right. I know what the Lord can do, but on the way there, the thought that the bad storm came up. And I put out a song on, I don't know which one of the albums, but the song was on, but I pray that album all the way there. Oh, and so much come up, came up all the time. I tell you, it was just me and the Lord, just me and the car, all the way back. If it hadn't been for him, I wouldn't have made it there because when I got into Dallas, Texas, I went up on the back of the under. You can go down, you got to go down, you can kind of go up, up, and down in there, get some water, for the brain to get off. And this pickup come around. I, I don't live there, but I know I have been there when you told me to I know you stuff like that. There's some water down there. But anyway, this pickup came around. <laughs> and when he threw it around me, I said, I said, man, what are you doing? And by the time I said that, he just hit that water and he I went over there and hit the wall and came towards me. And I went over to the other lane over there, up against the wall, before I got to go. And he was coming straight towards me. And the beam was going to hit me. And by the time I got that out of my mouth, it straightened up. I was here, it came straight. I've been beating up against the wall and it hit me on my side. Come on. My God, my God. I got where I was going. So much you take this one. Come on, come on. All right. All right. All right. So, so. Thank you. 
We don't realize, like what the first thing you said tonight, we take a lot for granted in life. But I'm going to tell you, all the songs that people sing, the words and the quartet, I'm not saying it on camera, it's not gruesome. But I want to say it to Mr. Lee. I love you, man. Amen. And all of you guys was in the group. Yes. I saw that we say the do care of Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. I didn't want to say I thank God for being here tonight. Amen. To be with the group again one more time. Amen. And uh, I just want y'all to keep praying for the group. And let's pray for one another. Because there's so much going on today that we're going to have to look towards heaven. But he is going to be our help. Because that's going to be the only thing that's going to be happiness. Because man cannot do what the Lord can do. I don't care what man try to do, but they can't do what the Lord can do. And I thank God for him tonight. Because if it hadn't been for the Lord, I wouldn't be here. All right. He gave me another chance. And I'm going to try to do whatever I can do for, for the Lord why he gave me another chance. Because I know he just didn't put me down here for what I prayed for. Because I prayed for my grandchildren. See them grow up and help them. Uh, be young men and, and young lady. And I prayed on the Lord to help me with my mother. Take care of her. But I know there's a lot of other things that I can do and I'm going to try to do them as long as I have breath in me. So I ask y'all, let's pray for one another. And I want to say, God bless everyone. Come on, give it up, y'all, yeah, for Mr. Roger McKinney. Amen, amen. We love Roger. Amen. The scripture keeps he's got a song that says, I'm so glad God gave me another chance. Amen. I can understand why Roger's so happy. Amen. Because if you don't know, just keep on living. You'll get there. Amen. At this time, we're going to have remarks, amen, from, amen, one of the early members of the, that we was at the speech QC, amen, when he was the lead singer. Come on, let's give it up for Mr. Hook. Wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Senior. Come on, give him a big hand. Good evening. Uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight. You know, uh, I've been in, in this town since 19... 22. 19... And nobody still don't know my name. Huh? You know, a lot of people don't even know my name. I know your name, Huh? My name is Willie Arthur <laughs> Ligon... Senior. Senior. All right. But a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Back in 1967, I believe it was, on a hot summer day, trying to play baseball down in Papa Shannon. Willie came up, Little Thornton came up. After we finished, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. He said, well, i tell you what. I'm going to take you to the house where you can get out of your clothes. And I want you to ride with me. Because I can have a bunch of heads to cut. Now, you talking about somebody to cut some hair. Amen. He can cut some hair. Amen. 
But we got together and yeah, doing that. I got through and says, come on and uh, we went out to the house. I said, okay. Went out there. And he was somewhere running around. I don't know where he was. And then another brother called Frank, the baby boy. So we got together and rehearsal, rehearsal. They said, well, we're going to put you on bass. Man, I can't sing no bass. But we had a man we called Robert Harris. He was singing all that top, all that hot top. So he decided he would leave and go to Milwaukee. So they put me in a spot right there. Grand Rep. Okay, Grand Rep. So that made me come out trying to sing lead. But Frank was in college. And he was never there half the time. So they, we were be program there, see there's three of us. I'm in the room, Lee at the bay, Willie got the lead guitar. Y'all gonna sing? What y'all gonna do? <laughs> if we on the program. <laughs> you know, here we go. And they said, I don't understand this. How y'all three can do what y'all do. Like y'all five or six y'all. But I'm not bragging, I'm not boasting. But we can really say. We really can say. And what I know about saying, the little I do know. I give honor to those two. Amen. And one thing about Lee Williams, when it hurts your feeling, uh, help you, or whatever, he wouldn't mind telling you you were wrong. All right. <laughs> you ain't saying that right. And when they kept that guitar plugged up all the time, we used to get up through the, I start, I start standing with them. I was sleeping with, me at least kept together many nights. <laughs> many nights. Until I got married, then I left. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> and he didn't want you to touch him in the bed. You know how you get comfortable sometimes, you roll over, maybe you're totally up or something, that's about it, huh? You know, what you doing? Get over. <laughs> but, like I say, we had many meals together. Many, many meals together. We had our ups, and we still had our down. But, the years I was traveling with them, I enjoyed it to the highest. Yeah. And uh, still a little bit now, sometimes. But uh, like this last recording, they had it August. I got sick. Don't the recording on the stage. And had to stay out for a while. Been a year this coming August, August 20th. But I want y'all to know I'm back again. Yeah. All right. I don't even do this or not. Uh -huh. They might. We're going to do something else. We're going to do something else. Yeah. It's a bit. Come on, Lee. Roger. Yeah, George up there. Yeah, George, I promote the Yeah, he up there too. School is in the come on up. I'm not going to do too much of this, I'm just going to do a verse of it. I don't know why this song was landing on my mind. All right. I'm going to try a little bit. 
Churches doing the best we could. Yes. Amen. And uh, don't forget it, we book I booked Lee and the Kens at a school in Grand Junction, Tennessee. And we had sellout, so we had to go to the church and get some chairs <laughs> to bring back into the 
building so we have enough room and we were going across the ditch to get the chairs and the another man was scuffling going across the ditch along with us with our guest, Lee William. I said that to say this, Lee is a normal person. Somebody ought to say man to this. And uh, because most people would have let us, we got our own chairs and brought them back, but Lee, he decided that he would help us out. You know, out of all the people, I had people in my group didn't even come. Wow. <laughs> Somebody don't say that. Amen. But uh, I want to share with you that uh, we just are uh, happy to be here and I'm riding along with Terry again and grateful for the opportunity to just come and uh, share the stage with all of you all, with Brother George Dean and uh, all of you. I, I remember a long time ago when George did first started. I've been at this a long time. Amen. I just died yesterday. I've been around here for a while. Amen. And we the accomplishments. One thing we have to understand, people, and I'm, I'm going to my seat. You can have as much envy as you want to, but it don't help anybody, and it only hurt you. I, I, I know I'm right about that. See, it, God does not bless anybody better than. He just blesses us differently. Watch out. Did y'all hear what I said? See, everybody is supposed to be number one. God knows what he's doing when he does it. And, 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 and we could have a lot more people to actually be a part of our ministry if we can get the people in the ministry Watch out. to stop having a problem with one another. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, now, this is probably a part of the banquet that we don't want to uh, deal with, but I'm glad Bridget called me up. Yeah. Because we find me to be an humble person. Yeah. Uh, uh, we rode to Pensacola, Florida, me and Lee and Danny. Lee don't have nothing really bad to say about other folk. Mm -hmm. Hello? All right. You know, a lot of folk talk about other folk, but Lee, he, he, he just won't say nothing. Most of us say quiet, mm -hmm. but he just don't want to talk about other That's folk. That's right. And we can, we can, we can, I can stand here tonight and tell you, because one thing about Cheers, which most of you all that know me know I feel this way, I don't have to say anything. Amen. So if I don't mean what I'm saying, I wouldn't say it. Hello? There's no gun on me, but I, 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 I just want to share that because that's where I think and that's where I feel about me. Is that all right? So one thing for sure, this building should have been jam-packed. But I share with Lee, Jesus had a lot of people yelling at him. Watch out. When he got ready to ride into the city of Jerusalem, oh, yeah. there were many people hollering at Jesus. Right. And you know we're no greater than Jesus. But but before the week was over, the same people that hollered was crying another tune. Watch out. When he was riding in, they cried hell to the king. Watch out. By Thursday night and on the way to Friday morning, they was trying, crying, crucify him. The backspace. So, so we don't get along when people are still saying crucify him. Because on the cross, Jesus said, forgive them, O Lord, for they know not what they do. And that's the feeling that we need to have for so one another. Lee. You just keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. Continue to do what you do. You have made and opened up a lot of trails for Reverend Cheers and Dr. Cheers and the Songbirds and many more that come on behind you. So just keep on doing what you're doing. A lot of people would not even be playing our music if it wasn't for Howard Walker Jr. and Lee Williams. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. When they got ready to stop playing our music, Harvey came on, he had his turn, then Lee Williams showed up. 
and they kept on playing traditional quartet music. And we need another one, are you? We need them to keep on doing what they're doing. Is that all right? So thank you very much, and thank you, Bridget, for the opportunity. Appreciate y'all and Lee. Thank you very much. I'm going on. Give me something to eat now. I didn't want to eat before I got up. <laughs> All right. And George, you going to sing? Yeah, he's been saying that. Uh, well, well, you better hurry up before I crack it. I started. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> hey, man, let's get some surprise and another big round of Yeah, come on. Let's get up for Dr. Andrew Chin. Amen. I thank God for Dr. Cheers. He was the first national artist to allow me to MC a major show, and that um, caused me to get nationally known. And I really thank God for him giving my start. Amen. Um, at this time, we're going further into our service. I want to thank Miss Lola McKinney from McKinney's Fashions. Amen. She has been suiting up the QCs for years. Amen. We thank God for her. Um, at this time, we're going to ask Mr. George Dean, if he would, amen, to come back, amen, and finish his. Musical tributes, and then we're gonna hear from Determined, y'all. Don't y'all leave, this is gonna be good and good. If you're still hungry, there's still a lot of food, so you can get in line and get you some food, okay? All right, come on, let's give it up for Mr. George Dean. God bless you. Let me just say to the uh, QC, man, I thank y'all for allowing me to produce your records, and I thank God for blessing your records and what it has done for you and people everywhere. I remember when we first started, it was a great bond of unity. And where there's unity, there's strength. That made a lot of difference. And I pray that God will just keep and study, raise y'all on up for even from where you are right now. Will y'all help me just give Music QCs a hand? God bless y'all. All right. I didn't really know I was going to be on all of the QC tonight. You know, I like. Gospel folk too, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to be a QC. You know, one of the songs that, that we put out on one of the albums actually speaks about what has happened to the QCs in their lives. And, and, and I particularly like this song. I particularly like this song because I just like the way it... <laughs>
before we sing this next song, I just want to say to Lee from the tournament, we love you. We love the QC. And we appreciate you guys for the music that you have made. It has made a difference in our lives. And one of the songs that I think speak for all of us, second stage.